Let's look at speaker coverage patterns. This would be a very common speaker coverage pattern. Probably 50% of the boxes out there are going to look something like this with a 50 degree vertical pattern and a 90 degree horizontal pattern. Now, what do those patterns really mean? Well, just because this is a line doesn't necessarily mean that the sound just stops and sound is only goes where this orange cone is. That's not the case at all. What this means is that if on axis with the speaker at a certain distance, if that SPL is say 90 dB SPL, when I get to this point, the SPL is going to be 6 dB less. And that's where they draw the line for what the coverage pattern is. So if this is 90 dB SPL on axis, if I go off axis by, in this case, 25 degrees, then I will be 6 dB lower than I was on axis. So this would be 84 SPL versus the 90 SPL that you get on axis. And that is also frequency dependent because this is just an average of what this box will do over a course of frequencies. In actuality, the high frequencies are going to be a little tighter. The low frequencies tend to be more omnidirectional or wrap around the box more. So this is really just an average of the frequencies and where they, where they drop off by six decibels from center. Same thing with the horizontal pattern. Horizontal pattern is much wider than the vertical pattern because audiences don't sit on top of each other. They sit next to each other. If it's uh, 90 dB SPL, when you get 45 degrees out, it's going to be 6 dB less on average, depending on the frequency. So here you see a diagram of a speaker box covering a section of chairs or a section of seats. Okay. Let's remember something Greg talked about uh, earlier in, in, in our series, and that is the inverse square law. The inverse square law says that every time you double the distance from a sound source, you drop the decibel level by 6 dB SPL. Okay. So if this first seat right here is 10 feet away from that speaker, it's 10 feet away and we have 90 dB SPL at that seat. If we go another 10 feet, which let's approximate that's gonna be about the third row here. If we go here, now that distance is 20 feet instead of 10 feet, we've doubled the distance. So the level of sound here is gonna be 6 dB less or it's gonna be 84 dB SPL. Let's double that distance again from our 20 feet away to 40 feet away, which is gonna be about the back of the room here. Now we've dropped another 6 dB SPL and we're at 78 dB SPL back here at the back of the room. So 90, 84, 78. 6 dB drops every time you double the distance. Now a line array, tends to work very differently than a bunch of speaker boxes covering an area. They actually work as one speaker, as one cohesive unit. And that is caused by acoustic coupling. Acoustic coupling is extremely complex. And we could spend four hours just on the math of how these boxes actually pull together to become one speaker. But because they do, and because of the length of the array of speakers, they defy the inverse square law. The inverse square law says that you lose 60 B per doubling of distance. But in the case of a line array, it defies that by three decibels. So it only drops off at three dB per doubling of distance. That is the true advantage of a line array is that these boxes couple and work together to defeat the inverse square law by three decibels, that making the line array shoot twice as far before dropping off at the same level. 
we are Capital Stage Techs. Capital Stage Techs is the only company specifically focused on the education and training of all aspects of the AV professional. Through our wide array of live hands-on workshops and webinars, we provide the technical knowledge, customer service and ethics skills, and industry-specific hygiene standards that are essential qualities for today's production staff, from the entry-level stagehand to production management and specialist roles. Capital Stage Techs also designs custom training programs specifically tailored to meet our clients' unique needs. Capital Stage Techs, training the next generation of AV professionals.